That's right, Amazon. You got caught. You got caught red-handed. Scamming. Scamming on people. Right. Welcome, friends. It's your main man, Z, here from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and we're going to talk a little bit about Rings of Power. Now, before we get started, just want to point out I've done a review of every Rings of Power that's come out so far, and you can catch uh, my 10-second reviews up here. And the one thing I can say about it is it's boring. So boring. Oh my gosh. If I wanted to know what the origin of Frodo's mithril shirt was, I definitely wouldn't. If I'd known that that's what this was going to be about, I wouldn't have watched it. It's not... I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. It's not like the worst thing I've ever saw, but it's one of the most boring shows I've ever seen. But I want to point this out. Do you all recall this video that I made where I reacted to the super fans? That's right. Before all of this came out, there was a super fan roundtable, which has been removed from the internet, but we still have receipts. We captured them, that's right. Where these four super fans explain to us while they live watched the trailer how amazing it was to be represented in all of these things here. Well, the internet did some research. And in particular, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, as from heels versus babyface, I'm gonna link that below. I'm gonna, you gotta watch his video. His video, he goes through all the definitive proof, and we'll take a little bit, uh, a look at a little bit of what he talks about. I just wanted to share this with, with our little group here and our little group of fans, just so we know. I, look, we understand there is paid shills, there are paid fans, there are, are people who are willing to do whatever it takes for a dollar, and I don't blame them for doing it. But when you see that the four super fans who did this, I guess, eight months ago, haven't posted one piece of content reflecting Rings of Power while we've been subjected to four hours of reviewing and dissecting and um, commenting on it. I've made several videos on it. I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. I'm actually a Tolkien reader. I've read all the books numerous, numerous times. I'm a big fan of the films. I own all of the extended versions. I watched all the extended versions in one day like a crazy maniac. Not the world's biggest fan of The Hobbit. There's a good film in there if you chop it down to three hours, but the rest of it's a little bit... But uh, let's just take a look real quick at what Az has to say. So we're going to see exactly what their Rings of Power content is. So let's start off, first of all, with my girl Galathriel, who is uh, called Chanel, we'll say Chanel Williams. So this is Chanel Williams's YouTube channel. Three hundred and seventy-three thousand subscribers, not to be sniffed at by any uh, degree. Uh, and she's got a lot of shorts, more shorts, just shorts. Oh, there is a two-hour video. It's a compilation of Harry Potter TikToks. Oh. So as goes into, because he's probably as big of a maniac uh, <laughs> as I am, and as went through and dissected all of their YouTube content and all of their social media to uncover just how big of frauds these people are, how big Scamazon is running a scam on us here. It's, you know, they must have found these influencers with, with, you know, large followings. I guess fantasy, I don't know. They must have been the first people to say, yes, we'll take a dollar for this. They're just not Lord of the Ring fans. But then for you to hire them on so that they will come and shill your product, uh, it just doesn't seem fair to the rest of us for you to do that, right? It just doesn't seem like that's not honest marketing. And, and they didn't think we'd figure this out. They didn't think they paid these people and then they didn't do, in fact, one thing I think as missed, and uh, I'm sure he picked up on it later, but there is a, uh, 
there's a video. Uh, she was on a live stream, one of them, and they were somebody asked her. They're like, "Have you caught up on Rings of Power yet?" And she's like, "No, nah, I want to binge the whole thing at one time. I'm gonna wait till it's done because House of the Dragons out right now, and that that that's lit. And that's on fire. So she's she's watching House of the Dragon instead of Rings of Power." <laughs> Um, I'm also, I mean, I'm watching all of them, so it doesn't really matter. But either way, just wanted to point it out. Just wanted to show you that this is what the Scamazon is trying to pull on us. We shall not be scammed by, uh, by Scamazon. And, uh, my good goobly moogly, have they, uh, they have ruined this entire thing. It's not a good show. It's super boring. I mean, <laughs> I can't think of anything worse. Like, at least, you know, things like the She-Hulk are just train wrecks to watch and kind of like i can at least scream at the screen while i'm watching it as to how stupid that show is and how terribly written it is this show is just boring so that's all you get here from me today uh be sure to like and subscribe not only to me uh here at our views will kill you but as from heels versus babyface the man endured every episode of batwham and there was and reviewed every single one of them the man lives to torture himself he's a he's a great youtuber check him out i will have the link below uh be sure to check out this video i'm actually going to connect it to here in the video we have a live uh audio podcast that you can check out um it's on stitcher spotify all those great places and more we do a live stream of it friday nights eastern standard time 7 30 p.m and uh, we're moving on who's it on to the next one see you around uh -huh.